Hello there, this is Timo Kotipolta from Star Wars, and you guys are watching Look House Rock Show! <laughs> Hello, how are you, Timo? Good, it's nice to be back in Brazil. Yes, you've been here so many times. Do you have good memories? I heard about you were a, you were a member of a jury in a bikini contest. Do you, do you remember that? Yes, that too. But I have some other good memories <laughs> as well. <laughs> but that was strange, something that we don't have in Finland. But yes. that was great. What, what memory do you have from Brazil? What the thing that passed from in your head when you think about Brazil? Well, of course, I always remember the first times we came, came here, like when was it, 97, 96? And uh, we played, now I don't remember, was it Recife or Salvador or something? But we were like, everything was like eight hours late. And we are coming from, from Europe, from Finland, and we are used to, if somebody tells us that six o'clock, then it means like six or maybe ten past six. Six, but now it was like four hours later, you know, like, mm. but I only have good memories, like great fans and, and great friends. And of course, the weather is quite nice. Drinks are nice, food is nice, so all is good. Nice people, very nice people. Yes. And how do you see the current uh, melodic metal scene? Well, I think it's not probably that good as it was like 15 years ago, but then again, melodic metal has never been the mainstream it has been more popular and then like for us it was like very bad six years ago but now we've been like slowly coming back so i think there's always, always people who like this kind of melodic metal but it, it's not the mainstream you don't you don't hear it on a national tv or national radio station for sure which is i think a good thing because to me, to me it would be very boring to be too famous you know and everybody would listen to my music it would suck so don't you listen to our music in a way, but of course, only you nice people you can listen to our music. Makes sense? Yeah. Okay. Fretoverus has had many member change. As time goes by, do you think that the, that those affect the interest of the public uh, in the band? Uh, it doesn't affect anymore. It, it was quite bad like six years ago when some persons in the band tried to even kill the band, you know, themselves. So, but now of course, nowadays we are just making music and we are we're not, you know, speaking any bullshit, so it's just the music, that's the most important thing. Um, but it's like, we are not the only band, you know, that, that is changing members, so. But of course we haven't had any original guys in the band since 95 or something. Timmy Toki, which was the band's founder, uh, founder, is not part of the band anymore. And what, what made you keep the band going? Well, when we... Uh, when he left the band, we decided that uh, the rest of the guys, we're gonna make some music together. But we didn't know what kind of music it would be, and we didn't plan that it would be under, under the name of Warriors. Then we made the demos, and then he gave us the rights for the name, and then we made the demos and we listened to the songs, and then we were thinking, okay, should we rename the band, or should we do it with, with the Stradivarius name? And then it sounded like Star Wars, and, and it didn't make any sense to change, you know, the band name because everybody would say that this is the band. It basically they are Star Wars, but you now it's a different name. So then that that was natural. You, know? you got two solo albums and a cover project release. Do you think about a release any work besides Stratovarius? Well, first of all, I think I had three solo albums. Okay, my mistake. <laughs> my mistake. It's not your mistake. It's somebody else's mistake. <coughs> but <laughs> and then uh, I've been singing to like I think one acoustic album which we did with Yanni Lima done last year called Black Acoustic. That's a very good album. Check it out. Acoustic, acoustic, mellow, melodic metal. And then I also sang on Yanni Lima Tanis album. Uh, the band is called Kane's Offering. That's actually a very good album. And I've been doing some little things. Um, yeah, that, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do my fourth solo album in the next next year, next year or not. That's not open. So it's still open. The next Star Wars album maybe in the next year, and then something else in between. 
a lot of artistic duo shows, especially in Finland, but hopefully also in Brazil it would be nice. So, a lot of, lot of things and a lot of gifts. Last question is not exactly a question, it's a game, and I hope you can play it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you... Uh, oh no, there's no ball! <laughs> no, it's not boring. <laughs> I want to tell you a vocalist in your grade 0 to 10. Bruce Dickinson. 10. Yeah, yes! But that's Paul Giano, when Paul Giano was on vocals, right? Do you like him? Um, I think he's, he's, or, well, he's an original singer and he's got his own style, but to me, Bruce is more, you know, more singing. 0 to 10. Well, then if Bruce is 10, then is probably eight. About that. Michael Kinski. Ten. Andre Matos. Ten. Do you? Ronnie Chensti, a twenty. Come on. He he was the best actually. Axel Rose. Ah, oh, he's ten. I mean, a different style, but I mean, first of all, the most important thing in the vocalist is that he's got a voice that you recognize. That's the most important thing. It doesn't matter how good you are technically or, I mean, whatever you do, how, I mean, how you perform, but he's got the voice. Whenever he's singing, then you know that it's him. Also, the same thing goes with uh, Bon Jovi. I mean, he's not my favorite singer, but when he's singing, you know that it's, it's him. I was asking you about him now. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, he's not my favorite, but I... I the too. Yes, because, I mean, when he's singing, you know that he's singing. Robbie Halford. <laughs> Ten plus. <laughs> Job Tate. Well, he, he used to be 10, now he's maybe 10 minus. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Co Coverdale. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Steven Tyler. Well, he's 10 as well, because, I mean, when he's singing... He's a good guy. <laughs> E dia 18 aqui em São Paulo, no Carioca Club, vai ter show do Strato Vários. E agora eu vou pedir para ele convidar vocês. Ask your friends to come over to see you. Yes, make them to come because it's worth. You never forget. Yes, come there. Rock the metal! Thank you very much. It was a pleasure.